Welcome back. A few weeks ago, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden declared he is more concerned about the situation in Pakistan than in any other nation on Earth. There is no question that Muslim extremism and the terrorism it imbues is ravaging the country. And it's widely assumed that Osama bin Laden is hiding somewhere in Pakistan's lawless Waziristan province. These problems all fall on Air Marshal Hifazat Ullah Khan, the second highest ranking general in Pakistan's Air Force. Here in Vancouver, as head of Pakistan's Olympic ski delegation, he agreed to talk to us about the games and the intensive war his nation is prosecuting against those he calls miscreants. Air Marshal Khan, thank you for joining us. You're here in Vancouver for the Winter Olympics. Um, you're from Pakistan, a country with a lot of mountains. Um, how is it that it's taken so long for Pakistan to have a ski team? This is the first time ever. Thank you very much. I must thank you for getting me on your program. Uh, I think it's a question which will crop up in anybody's mind as to a country like Pakistan having so much of snow and in the northern areas. Basically, it has been because of the lack of uh, appropriate infrastructure uh, related to ski. Pakistanis as a nation, you know, we are a very sports-loving nation, but ski has been virtually unknown. And uh, the ski existed only uh, in Pakistan Air Force. It, the resort was in uh, north of Gilgit, a place called Naltar. And the resort was made basically to train the air crew. Uh, but then in 1990, the Ski Federation of Pakistan was formed and the Pakistan Air Force started looking after that. And thereafter, we got the proper uh, membership of International uh, Federation of Ski in 2002. In Pakistan, is there a lot of pride? Are people watching the Olympics with uh, great interest? Yes, like I said, we are a sports-loving nation. People are very keen. However, the interest in Winter Olympics has been very limited. As you know, we have never participated in any Winter Olympics, and this is going to be the first time. Presently, only one skier is participating, though we had two qualified, but as per the rules, uh, only one is, uh, is participating. Who knows, next time we may have a bigger contingent the next Winter Olympic Games. Well, the Olympics must be a, a nice distraction for the people of Pakistan from all the troubles with the war on terror, certainly with India, with all the different issues going on. Uh, recently, Joe Biden, the Vice President of the United States, said uh, publicly that, that um, he's more concerned about the situation in Pakistan than, than Iran. Um, did that surprise you, that, that, that the U.S. is so concerned about what's going on in Pakistan? Well, this concerns uh, political domain, but as a normal Pakistani citizen, uh, I can comment that, yes, the matter uh, does, uh, everybody is concerned, in Pakistan also. However, having said that, one cannot overlook the achievements of government of Pakistan, Pakistan as a nation, and the armed forces of Pakistan with respect to the uh, extremists who were destroying the peace, and trying to challenge the rate of the government, the successes that have been achieved by the Pakistan Armed Forces are unparalleled. 2009 was it was a watershed, and you can you could see that how much of control was wrested back, and they are on the run. Do you feel, as a as second in command in the Air Force, that um, Pakistan is winning the war on terror? I have no doubt that we are. Uh, if you take a look at the operations in Swat last year, uh, in two months we wrested the control. Uh, it was with the extremists, and uh, the leader was Mr. Fazlullah, as you must have known his name. And that beautiful valley of Swat is now firmly in the control of government troops. They are there, and the civilian administration administration is being restored, and the people are happy. There is marketplaces are busy and people are back to their normal uh, way of life. But uh, then when you look at something like North Waziristan where there, uh, some people think Osama bin Laden and other Al-Qaeda and Taliban uh, folks are up there, um, that seems impenetrable to the military, doesn't it? Yeah, Swat was also impenetrable, so was South Waziristan and so is North, North Waziristan. I couldn't agree more with you, but as you, as I just mentioned, Swat is firmly in our control. South Waziristan 
which was considered impossible uh, with the joint operations of Pakistan Air Force and Pakistan Army. The uh, South Waziristan is now completely free of troublemakers. With respect to the presence of Osama bin Laden, lesser said uh, the better because uh, if he is holed up somewhere, uh, nobody I am sure would mind getting hold of him. So it is, uh, it is just a uh, guess. You're the number two in Pakistan's Air Force. What role does the Air Force have in fighting this war on terror? Pakistan's Air, uh, Pakistan Air Force's role in uh, this uh, war against miscreants and uh, law enforcement operations uh, has been of cardinal importance because the area, as you may be aware, is very difficult terrain. It is mountainous, like Swat had very high mountains, up to 12,000 feet, 15,000 feet. That's not something that could have been done with ground yes, forces. Yes, you're right. And even the uh, Waziristan area and all these Fata region is mostly uh, mountainous. So therefore, uh, you know, the air power is not inhibited by the terrain or uh, or uh, any other problems is the land forces do face. Therefore, the Pakistan Air Force has used precision uh, attacks, precision weapons uh, to ensure that there is least collateral damage and uh, it has succeeded in a large, uh, large part in doing that. The nuclear weapons are not lying in the open for anybody to come and take.